everybody, Chan Noob here. Welcome to my second playthrough on the Press Start Save Point. And, to, and now I'm playing Quantum Conundrum, which is a puzzle game. It's, a, it's actually made by um, one of the co-producers of Portal, which is another game I really pl I've actually played. If you're wondering why I continue game as an option here, it's because um, me being the uh, world class intellect that I am, I started playing. I played about one and a half hours, recorded it all, thought, oh yes, this is great. Went on to Fraps, realized I've got to tick um, uh, record um, input audio. So, I've got to um, play the first hour and a half again. And, um, so at least I'll, at least I'll know what time. to do. That's how these things usually start, yes? A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my, uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. I seriously can't believe I did what I did earlier. Well, let's see here. If I configure the transdimensional velocity regulator at approximately God, what is wrong with me? Seven microseconds past the... Oh! You're here? So I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Oh, really? Unfortunately, I'm a bit... <laughs> indisposed at the moment. He's being held hostage. If you take your luggage into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. I got the luggage. Oh, confounded machine. Ugh. What was that? How should I oh, know? Oh, good. That should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. Oh. Where on earth did I put Oh yeah. no, 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 no! Damn earthquakes. Ah! He just got shot, you see. Cool. Everything's fluffy, heavy now. Oh my god, everything's just been. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, like I said, I've played. Um, I've already played quite a bit of this. But me being the genius that I am, didn't record Wait, voice. What just happened? And, um. I I know there are like sure issues with like uploading gameplay the without like for it, commentary or whatever. Work, so I can do this. And... Hello, you, you you can hear me, right? Jump around a bit if you can. We're ah, way ahead of you. It seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Yes. Well, I most certainly can do better than this. Testing, 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 testing. There. Ha. Huh. Hello. Now. What in the world are you doing here? Were you supposed to be here today? No, no I'm um, well, uh, judging stealing from your the stuff. current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. Oh, is there? Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then... I don't know. Cool, let's go in here. Remember when I first played If you head over to my bit, office over on the left, you should be able amnesia. to restart the manor's power grid. Throw that switch there. It should be the one. Well, that wasn't as effective as I had hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Just... Uh, Take the glove in the box with you. The power now, glove. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. Yes, you are. What you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device, or IDS device for short. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know. <laughs> I get it. If you can access the You're generator hilarious. at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, so, I suppose you should many. start there first. Stashes. 
Oh well, that's good. There's idea. something I must tell you. My that latest dog. invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since oh, really? the last time you barged in. Uh, I mean, visit. It's not my fault. Uh, now, one sister, of the um, topics that our family has been studying like for you. several generations are rifts, existing Jetpack. in various dimensions. I've been able Whale. to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel. The glove controls the power source, huh. which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Cool. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. No. I refuse patience. Damn it, I'm an idiot. <laughs> that, that's how I... Because, um, I don't know. Why, why do I think that? Oh, there's a railing. I'd better jump over it. Because, I don't know. This door is using one of my inventions. The repetitive, periodic, articulating... I want one. Day. Or a drinking bird. Except that it's far more advanced. Open that door. Uh, well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be uh, receptacle in order good. to function. I'm fairly sure that I'm recording voice now. This is such you know, an early experiment suck. with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have I it triggered know. remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. Oh, close enough. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions. Looks like a suppository. Which in this case is... Well, I'm guessing that's fluffy what dimension. I've never used In addition before. to Fluffy being embarrassingly mm -hmm. adorable, it's also rather useful. Too adorable. Because everything is ten times lighter than normal. There you go, let's go. Uh, Though that looks yeah, like, like I said, a I've regular played. scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. That's not it's an aperture science, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, aperture science, um, something button thingy. I There's think that remember. lovely bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. Desmond! Something to note. Desmond Since Lyons. you're oh, damn it. version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. But, uh, let me try Does that Desmond again. Desmond You remain one. constant, so no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. Cool. Pick it up. Damn it. Let me pick it up. Come on, I want that. I want one. There you go, let's go. I'm pretty sure I could have made it without that box, but I don't know. I, I you like should boxes. throw that IDS battery into the receptacle. Mounted I refuse. On the wall. Okay, get it from here. Ah, oh, nearly so close. That receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. Whichever dimension is all fluffy As I like mentioned, that, I want Dimensional one. rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. Ah. Cool. Let's go in here. Hucking stuff. Ah, that's Dolly. Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. To you, a, furniture a cloning chucker. device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. I like how he nearly killed me with that box. Tune that later. And like he just ignores how I like just had my near-death experience. Hmm, let's go there. Here I think. Was that? No, 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 that's not right. Got my power glove on. Let's go. These safes can't be that heavy, come on. I remember earlier I got killed from trying to pick up a heavy object. And that really sucked. These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope yttrium aluminum garnet lasers using an alternating ray configuration. Gives them an extra kick. There you go. Let's open that door. I remember the first time I tried to do that bit. That took, that took forever. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. 
Oh, that's left click, that's it. I'll break the glass everywhere. Break all the glass. Uh, what was it now? Oh, yeah, now reset the glass? Ah, just letting you know that and you reset the glass. glass. Damn it! You. Forgot I said put up, make it all lights first. Making it all fluffy and cut and nice to walk on. Damn, that felt that felt epic jumping across it just the glass breaks. It felt so cinematic. That's what all games that's what games are all about, you know. It has to be cinematic. Cool, let's go. Oh, Shut that nerd creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity, or Ike. I like Ike. It's cute. I want one. Damn it. Where'd it go? There. It ah. Wait, where'd it go? Oh. Damn it. Okay. This is why I don't play basketball. And because I'm too lazy. But yeah, mainly because I can't throw boxes over glass walls. But, you know. Stop for a minute and take a look at the painting. Do you the feel machine rejuvenated? I referred to as Dolly started out as a simple metal forge that had been in the family since medieval times. Hmm. Cool. Oh, let's switch. Let's go. Air raising. That certainly is air raising. In case you're wondering, you turn to a fan. Please say that you don't need me to explain that to you. What's a fan? There you go, got it. Let's go through here. Ah, that's where the radio. That, to. that is a botched experiment of mine called the awkward noise generator. There's got to be more around here somewhere. Why well, should make something with the um, awkward so noise generator? Things yourself. I know. Everyone should so have compared about in their house. My location a lot, but it seems as if I'm in some sort of limbo. Oh my god, limbo is such a good game. A bit and see what turns up. If none of you have played Limbo, you're missing out. I mean, it is kind of messed up. Well, yeah, kind of, but it, it, it is a really good game. You should get it. I'll throw a sofa through here. Has anyone ever told you your presence can be rather soul-crushing? Yep. Well, now you're just crying out for attention. Yep. You know it. I, lo I like how they all... I like how I'm like throwing sofas through a wall. And it's like cool. Damn it! Ah! That almost killed me there. Oh! Some final destination stuff over here. With crates raining from the sky. Oh damn it, it's too far away. Oh yes, oh damn it. Oh. There you go, that should work. There, now I've done it. Damn it! Stay on the button, there you go. Let's go. Whoa! I'm drifting around these corners here, but like in real life. Let's go. Throw those cubes. Seems safe. Why is that always the sound of breaking glass? It's really weird. What's this button do? I forgot. So you'd think that I'd um I do well considering I've played this a couple times this bit a couple times now, but nope. Hmm. Oh wait, no, no, that's not it. This time I need to Staircase. That's it. See, I know I know how to do some of these puzzles because I've played the levels before. Just because I'm I'm an idiot and I don't record properly. I'm supposed to. What did I just do? I have no idea what I just did there. What was that button? Okay, so I turn this on this room that. often gets rather oh! in the summertime. I remember now. Air circulation is very important. Yes, it is. 
Oh, my legs. I think I just, I think this guy just broke his legs, but he's so hardcore, he's carrying on the goings. Just ca carry on goings, oh boy. Aren't I good at English? He carries on going. I hope I don't die on this bit. Yeah, walking on that. I know. Wouldn't wouldn't the, like my own mass just break it? But no. Oh crap! No! Damn it! Thing one hundred. Thing number one hundred six. You'll never experience the ridiculous parts of college to tuition in seven years. Since we're state school, it's like ninety-five thousand dollars. That is a lot of monies. Um. There you go, that should do it. There you go. It kinda, it's kind of annoying like this parkour stuff, but, you know, it's alright. It's still easier than Minecraft. You know, the jumping puzzles there. This is one of the animals that Dolly cloned to rather, well... Well, you put a dog in one of those things. Results. Just a bit. Thus was produced the world's first and only fully elastic dog. Nice. 